Autobots transform. Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to George Reviews. I am the 80s Transformer fan. This is Transformer Siege War for Cybertron. Leader class Shockwave, even though he looks like a Voyager class figure with extra parts inside. This is his packaging. He comes in his packaging, and again, he looks like a, a Voyager class figure with extra stuff making him seem like he's leader class. But anyway, I'll get to that. There's a a render of uh, artwork of Shockwave on the side. Looks like he's killed Hound. Looks like Hound's hand is green, and Black Hand looks like Hound. And here it says leader class. Leader class, leader class. The back of the box is the product shock of Shockwave and all this weird stuff. I, I don't even know. He has like junk, sort of like the Michael Bay movie. Like, I guess he turns into the spaceship. I have no clue. I haven't played with a Transformer. I haven't checked it out. I haven't watched the review, so I don't know what he does. Uh, I meant to get to this a while ago, but I started doing other stuff. Anyway, he's accompanied by Ultra Magnus on his packaging because that's his release mate in this classification. Um... Don't have Ultra Magnus yet. I passed on him a couple times and now he's disappeared since I passed on him. Anyway, side of the packaging, uh, that, I think that's Moon Racer or I'm not sure, Chromia, I think it is. Side swipe, the arc blasting off. Um, don't know who that cat is. And a few other guys doing battle. That's Megatron right there. Somebody, I think, I guess that's Optimus Prime giving them the business right there, the uppercut. I don't know. So. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing open and take a look and see if we like it, if we don't like it or what. Yeah, the more I look at this mode, the more I like it. I like the detail. I like what they tried to do with it. But he's just so undersized for a leader class figure, I think. I think this is pretty much a Voyager class guy, especially without all the parts. But even like this, this is, uh, to me, a Voyager class figure. And I'll... I'll Get more into that when I get them back in robot mode and do some comparisons in that mode. So, um, guess I'm gonna cut and get them back in robot mode. Thing that I see in this box, and I just messed that up folding it back. Yeah, box is empty. Here he is, accompanied with this some type of logo, Decepticon scientist type. I don't know what it is, I'm just speculating. And that's the inside of his box, and here he is. I guess the only accessory is all this stuff. No handgun for him. For some reason, he has like uh, four arms and legs up here. I, man, guess we will figure it out together. I'm gonna get all this stuff cut out and pull him out. So he's all cut out. Pull Shockwave out, and I already see some light piping for the eye. For some reason, they love doing that to Shockwave. All this stuff makes him real heavy. He's wearing like this backpack thing and. The extra arms is like killing me, but I assume it comes off and he gets some part forming type stuff going on. He has some little, has a nice bit of weight to him. Like he's a hefty little guy. Um, so let's take a look at Shockwave. Well, again, I don't know what's going on with all the arms. I'm assuming that comes off, but I'm gonna take a look at it just like this and then break them down. And this is how he's standing out of the packaging. I'm sure I can adjust it, but just showing you. What goes on when I do my out of the box review? See if I can get him a better stance. But there he is. That light piping is really working well. Let's see if I got no light piping, light piping. No light piping, light piping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's shockwaves winking at you. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Actually, look, it looks like a light the way it's designed. It has like that little magnified type look. Makes it look like it's battery operator or LED. So, first thing I noticed is there's no Decepticon logo right here. They put them on his forearms. And we're gonna turn them around, take a look. I don't see much paintwork going on other than the gray. He's wearing like these little boots thing. I don't know if they come off. And again, he has Decepticon logos here, some gray paint there, and a uh, translucent bit here. Looks like it's painted back here. I don't know if I had all that in camera, but translucent bit here. And uh, that's pretty much it for the paintwork. This is purple plastic, a lighter purple plastic. His hands are purple plastic. The thighs are gray plastic. And the rest of it is pretty much purple plastic other than the paint that I pointed out so far. This is painted over the purple. So anyway, um, it's Shockwave. I don't know. So anyway, his head... Can 360 despite the backpack. 
That's cool. Let me see. If you can look up. Uh, not really. You can look down. I guess that's a little bit. Of, no, that's just straight ahead. You can look down right into his chest. And I can see, I see right now that opens up for some reason. Yep, but I'll get to that. That's my, I just opened it. I'm checking it out during the review. No rehearsal. If you subscribe to my channel, you know how I do it. Now I can't close this. <laughs> I can't close the chest. So anyway, we're going to get this arm articulation. This giant shoulder rotate 360. Oh, it would, but the hose is connected, so it doesn't really 360. So I'll go to this arm. We can get a whole 360 out of the double arm. I'm, I hope this comes off. I hope we're not just spider arm the whole damn time. So anyway, there's that. And I see he has a waist swivel because it's, it's swiveling. Oh, no, wait. Now finish off his arm articulation. He has a bicep swivel up there on this arm. He has an elbow bend right there on this arm coming down to his wrist. This hand, 360s past the wrist, actually going into the forearm, 360. The hand is just a solid fist. It does not, well, not, it's hollowed out to hold something, but fingers do not open up. And then the secondary arm or third dairy arm, um, you can flip this back and you can bend it forward. And it does not swivel like this arm. At least for, oh wait, yeah, it does. I got to bring it down. It swivels like that. And coming down to the little gun thing, you can actually rotate that. Why you would want to, I don't know. But I'm assuming it's the same on this side. But I'm not going to go through all that. Check it out, his waist. Even with all the kibble, it will 360 around all the kibble, which is cool. Standard leg joints in here where they can get a lot of motion out of there. You got to get this to the side. You got to do a split. And it's coming off. Clearly comes off. It's coming off. But I wanted the weight to take that off. Get his leg to the front that far, and he holds it. Get it to the back that far, and it doesn't hold as well. Very soft ratchet. Well, it's holding now. Well, let's try this one. This one is, is a little bit stronger. I heard it. It sounds stronger, so I just got one gimpy leg. And we can get him out to the side just as far. He can do the splits, and the backpack's almost completely off now, which is okay because I was hoping it came off. At the top of the thigh, it does not swivel. It just does the things I show you. He has a, a thigh cut. And 360 that coming to his knee. You hear that ratchet in there, get it this far and coming to his foot. All right, this comes off. Let's check out his foot. In here, uh, it rocks side to side. Not really, no front and back at all. So, um, I guess I can get this guy undressed now. And uh, now that I got that off, I guess we can get his shoulders up this far and get his arms out that far. So he's very well articulated, looks awesome. He's a little on the small side from what I'm used to from Shockwave, but he can assume all the poses that you might want to get him in, fighting the Autobots. And I'm used to like a bigger Shockwave with the scale to the other guy. I was already disappointed in the scale of the Masterpiece version, which may make an appearance in this review. I don't know. So this is him. I guess there's nothing left to do but to... Get this guy transformed, and I have no clue what to do with all of this mess. It hoverboard glider thing. I see uh, there's a peg right here. It pegs together. It seemed like it would be another peg system, but um, I see it like pegs or ports into there. I guess it does it on both sides. So I guess it doesn't need another one at the front. That's one peg. And it's peg number two. Sorry if it looks weird because I'm, I'm messing with it for the first time and I'm reaching around the camera to get it done. These two little arm cannon things plug it into the side. Yep. And I know using the box is almost like instructions, but it's a little bit different in my mind. I'm just looking at a visual representation. And here is his space slit. And I guess he pegs on with these giant pegs under here on top of the boogie board peg them on there they got one leg kind of cocked back almost in action mode and he's got the gun arm the hose arm up oh and i didn't look at the hose arm so i guess i'll do that i guess i'm rushing through this video so here he is on this hover thing and his parts forming type stuff and he can fly and shoot and just uh 
I guess this is just what they do on Cybertron, huh? And speaking and this is the back of the hover thing, and I guess, I don't know, it moves for some odd reason. Some little engine outtake vents or whatever. Outtake vents. <laughs> some engine vents back here. Uh, I just couldn't think of anything to say. Oh, wow. And the back of his feet look like little Lego bricks back there. Oh, anyway, I didn't look at the hose. The hose is a... I don't know. I don't know if this is soft plastic. I don't think it's rubber. I think it's like just a soft plastic. It has some patterns in it and a little bit of gray going through that thing there. All right, so I just went ahead and just broke all this down and try to start fresh to get this guy transformed. And uh, quick peek at the box to this starship mode or whatever the thing is. So I see Shockwave is like laying upside down like this. And I can see his feet is reversed because I see the Lego parts. And this is like front of the ship. And these are the boosters again. These are like the side guns. And these plug in to this thing somehow. So peeking at the box, looking at the toy, peeking at the box. It must be this one for this side. And it, ha it has two pegs. And two pegs there in it. So that is his right side, my left. And the equal opposite over here. So this is like the back of the thing. I got that right. I think I got that right. This is going to be in the back. It's going to be the front. Now for Shockwave, uh, I saw this thing. I actually opened this up. I believe his head tucks away. I think it tucks away. Maybe it tucks away. I need to check to see if his antenna moves. Nope, his antenna don't move. All right, yeah, I just had to use a little force to get that in there. Uh, the backpack accordions up. I see it. It's hinged like it opens or something. Yeah, okay, it opens like that. I'm a, okay, it's like the G1 and like the masterpiece light. The arms come up, if I got it right, is that right? Arms come up and maybe come, come together like this. And we take the back weight. And it goes inside here like the Masterpiece toy. If I'm doing it correctly, it looks cool. Oh wait, this cord unplugs. Wow, sweet. And you close that up and it looks like I got some type of trigger up here. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Make it a little bit taller. Alright, uh, so I got that done. This is just like the masterpiece where this uh the backpack comes and cover the arms. Now coming to the legs, I know the ship goes like this, and the Lego legs they must rotate somehow. And I see the hinges, this giant hinge thing. If I can get this to open up. There it is. It swivels out. I'm about to break it. It opens and swivels out. And I'm assuming the legs accordion or collapse inside. Yep. And this, oh wow, this little thing is like like the tower. So I think I, I got it reversed. Right, let's do this leg. Same thing, same thing. Alright. Hold on. Goes like this. Maybe I'm supposed to swivel it first. I don't know. I know, the, the feet come out. Try like okay. Undo that, turn it, and then accordion the thing. Getting ahead of myself. One day I'm gonna practice doing these uh transformations and then this turns into like the bridge thing. It has some light piping in there. See that? I guess it's supposed to be like a window and this pegs into there. Got it. I got it. First try, well, mostly first try. And um uh, If I got it right, I think this thing plugs into here. Like that. If that is correct. Then we take this front thing. Plug it on here. Wait, wait, oh, here we go. Take these little guns. Rotate the guns out. Now let's see if we can plug this on here. 
I don't see a plug for that, so I don't know. Oh, there's some ports on the side here, and there's the ports inside here. Let's see if I can get it. I am trying. I'm excited to see it come together. <laughs> you know, he's parts forming like a mug. Okay, these, I see tabs here, a little port there, and a little tab inside there. Get that to hold on to the sides. And on this side. All right, I can see little guns fold down. All right. All right, that's not bad, not bad at all. So I take these, there's a port here, and port these on here. A lot of parts forming. You, I, I would never thought you would see all these, these parts forming. Um this far down the road in Transformers toys same thing on this side and now not, there's a port and a peg uh, uh, give it extra stability right there a peg and a port uh, whichever have you said and this is the galactic Decepticon cruiser mode and I just made that name up I literally just made that shit up <laughs> Uh, you know, I got it correctly. Uh, I don't know how to say I locked in because it's swiveling on me. All right, now it's locked in, and this is how it goes. This is how it is. He's got this hose just hanging out. And on the box, this hose is on the other side, but I guess the product shot is reversed. But here he is. I don't know if you can see the light piping on this little bridge part. Looks like something out of Star Wars crossed with Transformers. And from what it looks like, this looks like it transforms into a giant cruiser, even though it's not a giant toy. But from the design of it, and if this is like the bridge, this looks like it can hold like 300 Decepticons. So he would go from being a regular size dude to a Death Star size dude. That's even a, a bigger... Um, enlargement than astral train because like astral train can hold like what 20 decepticons this look like he has 300 plus quarters in a restaurant <laughs> and everything in this thing in a job bar i mean if, if you take a look at what the scale is supposed to represent like with this little bridge thing this thing is humongous like in the real cybertronian type world and i think i got these guns right they kind of kicked out a little bit i don't know if they rotate around let me see uh i think I will put the Star Wars theme in here at this point of the review, but I'll probably get a copyright hit, so I'm just going to keep making the noise. <laughs> yeah, because he definitely turned into something big. And he looks pretty cool. It's just a shame that it's all that parts forming. I mean, um, I was a guy back in the G1. It, it didn't bother me, but we've come so far now. It's like, why do we have the parts forming? I'm probably I'm probably missing something and blowing it big time for the review. And somebody's like, man, you had it all until you came up this. And he got the guns right here. So it has some guns. And uh, it feels pretty good. It feels solid. It's not going to fall apart at all. I, I actually like it. Other than the parts forming, what it, what it results... The results of the transformation and the parts forming is pretty excellent. A lot of molding and detail. Um, man, what else can I say? Uh, so yeah, this is Shockwave and his Cybertronian Star Destroyer mode thing. Wow. Not bad at all. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. And I think I just tried this was right the first time and I made it worse. Yeah, there we go. There you go. And I guess you can position the cannon to to annihilate the surface of the planet and these don't move in order to move you got to open it back up but it would have been nice if these uh flipped up a little bit but at least they're painted and we know what they represent and that's coming loose but uh here it is and we don't know what this represents other than what it was originally this is like the garbage chute now <sighs> maybe it's an indoor water slide for uh the transformers i don't know but uh here it is it's pretty cool it's pretty cool and one more thing real quick, man, I, I know they don't do this type of thing with Transformers, but he could use a display stand for this mode. Just to have him sitting up flying. Because I was thinking about like taking some pictures for it and I got to put it down. That kind of spoils it right there. It's like, I don't know. But may, maybe uh, they could have gave him a handle and let him be a gun too. Like 
Still be a shockwave gun. Would that have been so terrible? We can't get. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm tripping. Let's turn him upside down. And now we have the. Oh, man. I don't believe it. And maybe this is like the sight. I did not realize that this could be a gun handle. Wow. You know, I'm slipping. I'm getting old. So, yeah, he is a gun. He is a, a triple quadruple because he has like four three modes and then this thing and yeah i don't know a quad changer <laughs> all right there was something just bugging me i know i forgot something he has some wings right here that i forgot to fold out or actually missed so i took a look at the damn box and there it is with the wings fold out now the transformation is complete Okay, so here's Shockwave back in his robot mode, and he's listed as a leader class figure, and he's priced at a leader class figure, and I just don't see that, but before I jump into that, I want to compare him in this mode to his G1 self, and take a look at the scaling here, and his G1 self is a lot bigger. When I brought this out, I didn't... I did not realize I didn't have that many shockwaves in my collection. You think with a character like him, I would have more, but I don't. And here he is next to Masterpiece Shockwave. I forget his number designation. And they both share some transformation similarities where his head ducks down into his chest. And this one folds back into his chest. And the backpack stays attached and covers the arms. They both share that. Um, and they both share the light piping. I don't know if I said that about the light piping. Now I'm going to bring in Voyager Class Megatron. And Voyager Class Megatron is actually bigger than this guy. Hound and Deluxe Class Redgar. See how these guys scale? He's bigger than these guys, but um, with Redgar, not by a lot, you know, and he's listed as a Leader Class figure. Now I want to bring in Leader Class Rodimus Prime. And you see off rip that um, he's just not really leader class. And with all the parts for him, they could have made him like leader class or, or, or on this scale so he looked better in his starship mode. Okay, so we're back where we started, back to the business of this toy review for Shockwave. I'm going to close it out with my final thoughts. I like the thing. I like um, a lot of stuff that they did. I don't love all this extra stuff, but I don't hate it either. It's... um. It kind of has its appeal to it. I don't know what it is. I don't love it, but it has a, an appeal to it. Um, but this thing is not worth $49.99. It's not a true leader class figure to me. And I don't think I zoomed in on his face. I want to zoom in on his face because he has like a black inner circle around the light piped eye. I think it's like a black plastic piece. If I'm getting it in, good. Then take a look at that. But anyway, it's not worth that. And I always say every toy has a story. And real quick, the story to this thing, someone put him in a clearance aisle. Uh, I, got, I had this thing like a month and a half now. Found him in a clearance aisle at Target. And someone put a sticker on his box. And I knew the sticker didn't belong on there. And I jokingly said, well, they got to give it to us at this price. Then my wife grabbed it and was like, are you kidding me? Yes, they do. And my wife made a big stink about it. And and all this stuff went on. And anyway, I wound up getting this guy for uh, I think it was thirty eight bucks or whatever. So and I really I don't think he's worth thirty eight bucks. I mean, it's nice, it's solid. It's, the plastic is good quality. My paint work is good. Uh, but he he's just not that big of a guy. He's little. So uh, that's the story behind this guy. And do I recommend it? I don't recommend it for that price. If you can get it cheaper, okay, go ahead. If you super love Shockwave, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, okay. But if this is like your first piece or introduction to this line, I got to say no. So um, this has been George, the 80s Transformer fan. And you just watched a review where every toy has a story.